Hi guys, one of the narratives around the cost of living crisis is that it's principally due to the war in Ukraine, which is causing a shortage of oil and gas. This is not the case, and it certainly isn't for Britain. Newspapers and radio shows have been hosting right-wing think tank after right-wing think tank, coming up with their own solutions from cutting VAT to fracking. These organisations are funded in part by billionaires who want to see their taxes cut, or by the fossil fuel industry in their continued war against renewables. Here, Philippa Whitford of the SNP explains what the real problem for the UK is and how it's affecting Scotland in particular. But why is it that the UK is predicted to have more than a 200% rise in energy costs when most of Europe, most, much of which is more exposed to Russian gas, such as Germany, Holland, further into Eastern Europe, they're talking about rises of 40%. And Germany has cut VAT on fuel from 19% to 7%. Wind hasn't got any more expensive. Scotland produces a quarter of the UK's renewable energy and two-thirds of its gas. And yet people in the Highlands and Argyle will be paying the highest unit power cost in the whole UK. What is the rationale for that? It's because the energy market in the UK is a complete mess. And Mrs Thatcher, who's getting her Tribute Act, flogged it all off in the 80s. France has an increase of 4% because they still have a nationalised power industry. It's the energy producers that are making the huge profits, not the energy suppliers. So actually, had we managed to set up a, a, a Scottish national supplier, that wouldn't have made the difference. It's the fact that we should, like the Norwegian government, own the wind, own the oil, own the energy, and that we don't. And she's completely correct. The energy system is completely the the market how it's actually sold to the public is completely broken you have renewable energy which is much cheaper to produce it's been thrown in in pile in a pile with uh, gas and other fossil fuels and the the price for also renewables sold to the public is set at the same level as gas which makes zero sense but also the fact that scotland produces two-thirds of the uk's gas and people in Scotland and the rest of the UK are paying the highest in Europe. That makes zero sense. Well, it makes sense if you realise that the, these resources have been sold off to private companies. They should be in, this, in the hands of the state. The UK should be owning the gas and the oil, not private companies. And this talk about, yeah, we're going to provide some people with some support the real support would be nationalizing these suppliers, these wholesalers, the ones who are producing the gas and the oil. If they, and it doesn't have to be a 100% nationalization, even just 50 uh, plus one votes, a percent uh, of the ownership of these companies would be enough. But the, the Tories don't want to do that. These companies are making massive profits at a time when people can't feed themselves. People can't heat their homes. People are afraid to switch on a light because they're afraid that when the bill arrives, they won't be able to pay it. Or when they uh, top up the car, top up their meter the next time, they won't be able to afford it uh, lasting more than a day or two. This is unacceptable. The system is broken. It needs to be nationalized. And tinkering around the edges is not going to work. Businesses are closing at the moment because they can't afford these rising bills. There's uh, talk about schools opening just three days a week. I don't even know the impact on, for example, hospitals who use huge amounts of, uh, of energy and other industry. Hospitality is struggling and uh, shops and uh, other stores are closing down. Something has to be done. And I'm afraid Liz Truss is just going to talk about tax cuts. Let me know in the comment section, guys, what you think. As always, your comments are greatly appreciated. Thanks a lot.